Money is one of the most important aspects of our life. We are using those money every day for everyday users, to buy coffee, to buy milk tea. But at the same time, have you ever questioned our own currency? Why is it called real? Is there any reason behind it? Please find out in this video about the original name of real. Real or real? Just when did the word real come into vogue as the name of Cambodia currency or the currency circulated in the country? The controversy that surrounds this name is itself most interesting. For many historians, Westerners for the most part, the real is almost certainly the origin of the name real. Wouldn't it be logical to go from real to real? For those who think so, there is little doubt that the word is simply a transliteration of the name commonly given to the Mexican piesta that was, as we have seen, the standard currency in Asia and notably in Southeast Asia since the mid or late 16th century. The real would therefore be an accident not descendant in relation to Mexican piesta and Indo-Chinese piesta that imposed themselves in the 19th century. Similar neutralization phenomena in the local language for the name of European currency are frequent. This can be seen from the Indian Ocean and Southeast Asia, from Madagascar to what is now Thailand. However, there are those who support the etymological and symbolical meaning of Trairil, which is most touching. Jean Delward, a man who was very knowledgeable of rural life, simply states in his general survey of the Cambodian farmer that the word real was always the most popular one to refer to money. At any rate, it imposed itself naturally when, in early 1950, a name had to be found for the new national currency destined to follow the piesta. The strength of affiliation and the persistence of monetary name is, as we have seen, a key characteristic of currency. Yet, the word use of the word always is equivocal. Does use of the word real go back further than the real? Or did somewhat the form name of the Spanish currency become a generic name for currency in Cambodia? Is it possible that it sprung from admiring observation prompted in the mind of a French official by emblematic gushing of silver fish? Or did his exclamation simply fit with the word that was already common use? There is also good reason to think that the name of the Hispano-Mexican currency was passed on to the well-known syllable Little Fish. The symbolic meaning would be inverted, but that take nothing away from it. A silver fish shaped like an ingot. The real is a small fish found in the water of the Mekong and Tunle Sa, called Trayril in the Khmer language. It is used to make the paste known as prahok, parmented prahok, along with sweet mum, sources, and smoked food that the farmer fishermen of the river and field, along with the Cambodian of the city and town, cannot do without. It is a condiment in their rice and vegetable diet. Its strong smell wafts along the edge of the river and throughout marketplace. 